is a diverse continent with diverse cultures and cuisines with different spices and seasonings. African meals will suit your hunger and soul. There are always little spices or seasonings added to the food to make it more enjoyable. Back in the day, the Arabs started large spice plantations which made Zanzibar the world's biggest exporter of cloves at the time and earned the nickname the Spice Island. Today, Zanzibar is still renowned for its clove, nutmeg, turmeric, cinnamon, chili and black pepper. In this vlog, we learn about some of the unique spices in Zanzibar and their benefits. Welcome to Zito Spice Farm. My name is Chiriku. Chiriku. Yeah. Say Chiriku. Chiriku is a real African name. Eh? It's one of the most famous farms in Zanzibar and it's very famous. And this area is called the Kizimbani area. It has been very popular for spice plantations. So today we are very, very happy, guys, to visit us in our farm. So normally our two or three sections. First, we go walk around in the farm so as to see different kind of spices. But before I mention them, who knows some spices like no. uh -huh. cinnamon, yeah, pepper, paprika, salt. Oh wow, bravo! So we just go take around, take you around in the farm, so as to see different kind of them, like vanilla, ginger, nutmeg, cloves, and so on. But this tour is going to be competition to you guys because we know. So before we tell you direct which is this, which is that. You just pick the leaves, we give you a smell it. If someone gets correct, we give you 10 points. Like, and, and dancing. One again. One. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. Ready? Ready? This way. Okay, guys. Take the leaves and smell it. And everybody have to get the leaves and start smell it. Then. I'll ask the question for. Tell me, guys, what's that? Lemongrass. Who has any ideas how to grow lemongrass, guys? How to grow lemongrass? Uh -huh. You take the leaf uh -huh. and then you cut it. Just yeah. only this like this? You cut like this? Oh? No, you cut, you cut the middle. This leaf? The middle? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Lemongrass normally, guys, they grow from these stalks. You see these stalks? Yeah. So you need to dig them out together with the roots. Then you plant them at the open place like this. Because lemongrass, they need a lot of sunshine. That's why you see them at the open place like this. So when they get five or six months ready to harvest because these are grasses so grow very quickly guys well so lemongrass the benefit of this is good against the uti urinary tract infections how you do you take the fresh leaves you boil it with ginger you don't have it it's good against uti it's also it's good against mosquitoes to keep mosquitoes away you know here how we do we take the fresh leaves dry at the shade area no, then just cut into small pieces, then we burn them in the, in the room before sleeping. So the way smoke spreading up, mosquitoes run away. And the room smell with a good smell of lemongrass. Okay guys, anyone can tell us what kind of these things? Any idea? Zanzibar lipstick fruit guys. So in the Swahili name is called Zingifuli. Do you know Diamond Platinum? Yes. The big artist from East Africa, Tanzania. Uh, okay, there are some song. He, call, he sang some. He sang some song and put this this word from this fruit, Zingifuli, like a Zingifuli, Zingifuli, Lifunga Mahala Ukaka, Baba. So Zingifuli are these guys, you know. So this is Zingifuli like this. We 
But if you open inside like this, you can find some pink, red seeds. If you keep it crushed like that, you find the strong uh, red color. So this is going to be applied on your lip or Maasai, Maasai to color the hair. Just for demonstration, no worry guys. Yeah. Akuna Matata! <laughs> okay guys, so also the fresh one like this, the fresh one like this just for decoration, for painting as what this guy did. And when they get you dried, I uh, used to make a, a red curry just for coloring food, no, no, no flavor, no smell, no flavor. So if you need maybe flavor, you can mix together with other stuffs like a garlic, cumin, ginger and other things. Yeah. here guys yeah these are ginger all these garden are ginger plants so guys well would you like to set the ginger from zanzibar at least a little piece but it's very strong guys This, this is for women, because Zanzibar women, they use a lot of us to get high, you know? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This, this is for ladies, commonly used by Zanzibarian women. If you want to know who is a really Zanzibar woman, if you ask her about this kind of spice, she must know this. If she knows, she, if she knows nothing about this, it's not from Zanzibar. But I don't see any fruit on it. I mean, yeah, it makes them high. They use it as alcohol, this uh, spice. Your uh, women, yeah. To bring the welcoming eyes or bedroom eyes or belladonna eyes. You know, yeah, yeah. This red part you see there is called the mace. So this mace is used, is usually used to flavor fishy dishes. Can you smell it? Yes. Apart from used as a spice, it's also used to make perfumes. Guys, do you know Chanel number no. five? Yes. So yeah, in Zanzibar we make Chanel number no. nothing or number no. zero. <laughs> Yeah. Nice one. This guy's been dropping. You know how we do? You know how we do? Here yeah, in Zanzibar we make Chanel number zero or number nothing. How we do? We take we take this red part from this nutmeg and uh, jasmine flowers and rose flowers and other cosmetics uh, stuffs. So we just mix together with the coconut oil together. Then we squeeze in the local machine. We make Chanel number zero, guys. Wow. <laughs> Anna penda ga chocolato. Uh huh. Mali, finish it. Uh huh. Moment, 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 moment. Anna penda ga chocolato. Uh huh. Take even the naughty. I mean, no, no. I want the the next word. Anna penda ga chocolato. Uh huh. I want that. Ne 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 ne. Which the real one? Eh? Anna penda ga chocolato. Uh huh. Mama, 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 mama. So which one that? <laughs> if you say that one, this is it. Chocolate. Ma vanilla, nila. Ah. Vanilla, guys. So unfortunately, unfortunately here, guys, we're not giving you to to pick it. Just smell it, guys. You can smell it, guys. Mama, tena.
What kind of this fruit, guys? Kiwi. No. Passion. Star fruit, eh? It's yeah, star. bravo, bravo, bravo. Uh, this is a private spa, is private farm, because in Zanzibar there are government farms and private farms. So normally the private one belongs to, to the locals, and the government one belongs to the government. So the government one, one plantation like this for only one type of spice, just for business purposes. But this is just for demonstration, so it's not enough to export all other places. You smoke, you smoke. Bob Male soup. Bob Male. Uh, the Bob Male soup. <laughs> Is it weed plant or not? No, it's not. It's not. So, what kind of this plant? I have no idea. <laughs> this is iodine. Iodine. Oh, okay. Iodine, guys. Wait, Yeah, the one if you cut yourself. Yeah, so as to stop blood bleeding. No, oh, okay. Guys, look at this. Is it cutting? No, no. Wow. It just show you how to use it. If someone cut, uh, get a, got a, like a cuts or fresh wound, you just take this and apply on your skin like this. And it's going to go it's going to be dried. Uh, it stops blood bleeding. Yes. Or leaf maybe as a plaster. As a plaster, maybe because we're in the village, you know, the hospital is so far. There's no dispensary. So it depends how big of the your cuts. If good is big one, you take a big leaf. If small one, just small leaf like this. Guys, I'm honestly loving it here in Zanzibar. I'm done with my spice tour. Perfect. Like, the spices smell amazing. They have different spices here. And the whole place smells so organic, honestly. Hi, uh, followers. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yes. I'm Genevieve's new bestie. Yes. <laughs> We are in the spice farm in Zanzibar and it feels like Hawaii with all our flower crowns mm -hmm. and leaf rings exactly. and flower bracelets. <laughs> yeah. And I know you're jealous. <laughs> <laughs> My tour in the spice farm was very educated. My guy Chiriko made it more fun with his jokes. After the tour, I joined the rest of the team to have lunch and chit chat.